For much of his decades-long career, Johnny Cash's personal life was as much a part of the public conversation as his music. Indeed, as one of the original so-called country outlaws, Cash lived the life he sang about, often battling drug addiction and various other troubles. His relationships have also played a part in the Johnny Cash narrative, including his toxic marriage to his first wife, Vivian Liberto Cash, to whom he was unfaithful and inattentive. Similarly, his marriage to June Carter Cash was far from perfect and also marred by substance abuse issues and infidelity. I never did cocaine or, or heroin or never did shoot up, but I did all, every pill they ever made. I was a connoisseur. Over the course of his two marriages, Cash fathered five children, four girls with his first wife and a son with his second. All his kids have followed in their father's footsteps, if not necessarily into country music, then into the entertainment industry more broadly. Though none have achieved the same iconic level of recognition or fame as Cash himself, two of Cash's children are Grammy winners, including the popular recording artist and writer Roseanne Cash. Roseanne, Johnny Cash's oldest child with his first wife Vivian Liberto Cash, followed her dad into country music, had a few hits, and is active to this day. Over her 14 studio albums, she has won four Grammy Awards and been nominated for 16 in total, most recently winning three in 2014 for her Americana album, The River and the Thread. She was honored by the Country Music Hall of Fame as its 2015 Artist in Residence and also inducted into the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame the same year. Her Billboard topping hits include I Don't Want to Spoil the Party, I Don't Know Why You Don't Want Me, and Seven Year Ache. Roseanne Cash is also the author of four books, including her best-selling memoir, Composed, about life with and without her father, as well as her own growth as a performer. Cindy Cash, Johnny Cash's third child with Vivian Liberto, took a page out of both her father and her sister's books, performing as a country musician in the group Next Generation, which also included the children of such music icons as Conway Twitty, Loretta Lynn, and George Jones and Tammy Wynette. This group, sadly, did not last very long. John Carter Cash, the only son of Johnny Cash and the only child from his marriage to June Carter, followed a similar path. He primarily works in country music as a producer, winning a Grammy for his work on his mother's album Press On in 1999, and working with other musicians such as Loretta Lynn, Willie Nelson, George Jones, and Sheryl Crow. He also recorded several albums of his own music, beginning in 2003 with Bitter Harvest. Carter Cash is also a writer, penning three children's books, a biography of his mother, and a memoir about his relationship with his father. Kathleen Kathy Cash had probably the lowest public profile of her siblings, appearing in a single movie but otherwise living a life of relative obscurity. In 2005, she publicly complained that the movie Walk the Line inaccurately portrayed her mother Vivian as a shrew. Kathy told Today, My mom was basically a non-entity in the entire film except for the mad little psycho who hated his career. That's not true. She loved his career and was proud of him until he started taking drugs and stopped coming home. Reportedly, Kathy walked out of a family-only screening of the movie five times. Released in 2020, the documentary My Darling Vivian takes a closer and arguably more accurate look at Cash's first wife and their 13-year marriage. Pulling from interviews with the former couple's daughters, old letters, and photographs, the film is an homage to a woman who faded into negative obscurity after Vivian and Johnny split. Vivian and Johnny's youngest daughter, Tara, also appears to have chosen a life of relative obscurity, although she contributed photographs to a book about her father. She has also done some work in costuming as a designer and as wardrobe assistant on a couple of TV shows and movies. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.